<laughs> hey, quick thing. Where is Andy? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Lead the way. All right. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Thanks for joining us today. We have a really good video for you today. Peak week has started. It is Sunday, September 8th. We are here with my coach, Andy. And today we are hitting glutes. Glutes, big glutes. Yes. Last glute day of, uh, of the prep. Yep. Six days out. Yep, so we're gonna kind of talk you through you guys, my, the exercises we're doing today, why, um, a little bit about peak week and then leading into the show. So looking forward to joining us today and we're gonna get to it. Cool. Okay, remind me again what's been on your glute program. I know we got just like, like what, what's your next glute workout? I haven't, I haven't looked at our, my drive yet. Yeah, so um, the exercises that I've been doing a lot lately for glutes is uh, Smith Machine, um, RDLs. And, Smith Machine RDLs? I mean, sorry, Smith Machine hip thrust. thrust. Yep. <laughs> okay. Barbell RDLs, yep. um, DB RDLs, uh, toes elevated, okay. and then abduction, seated okay. abduction, and kickbacks. Okay. And lunges. Oh, mainly. Okay, so we're gonna do. We'll do Smith. Uh, we'll do Smith. Uh, we'll do Smith hip thrusts. We'll do barbell RDLs. Okay. We'll do hip abduction. We'll do Smith uh, box squats. Okay. And why is it important that we kind of keep the same exercises that I've been doing? Like. Oh, uh, because I don't want any new like like any novel stimulus mm -hmm. to cause excess inflammation. I mean, you're doing bikini, and we'll also do a bikini athletic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're doing both, but yeah. we want to. We want to get your glutes. I'm more worried. Your lines are already there. I'm more worried. I'm not worried. I just want my focus is keeping the fullness. Yep. So if there's, you know, so we're going to feed, we're going to really feed you, you know, um, Thursday and Friday, especially Friday. Okay. We're, uh, Thursday we'll, we'll slow feed and then based on where your weight is, we're going to really start really pushing in the calories and then bringing down the water on Friday. But my point is I want to really fill the glutes out. So I'm not really worried about a little inflammation. Yeah, I'm not okay. worried about it. I'm not worried about inflammation. Okay. No. Cool. You know, if you were doing like say like figure and you were flexing your quads, I'd be like, okay, let's avoid squats because we don't want to wash out the lines. But we just want, you know, your show full glutes. Yeah. We want full glutes. So. Okay. Uh, but that's why we're not doing. But we don't want to do anything brand new where you're like totally wrecked in combination of the new exercise and the newbie. Like if we're doing like some new exercise and you're like, holy shit, like yeah. you're sore for like five six days. I don't want that. I just want, you know, your basic soreness. You know three days two three days and then uh right and then yeah then then we start we start the peaking process yeah so like i said earlier this is my last hard leg day with glutes and i'm gonna have plenty of time to recover before the show yeah so, and then you're taking a rest day tomorrow yeah, and then tomorrow's a rest day yeah. so normally monday people will be training because it's peak week but right. we're training on sunday so i like to have one rest day before you start like your upper body workout and then your pump workout you know it's better the body will look fresher yeah Agreed. Than just than just coming in after doing a hard leg day and then just wanting to, you know, hit the weights the, sh the day after. Let's have a day of rest. Yep. Yep. So sounds like a plan. So the volume is going to be lower. It's just going to be like warm up set, not as higher vol higher reps. Like our warm up sets are going to be 12 to 15, not 20. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to just two working sets, move on. Two working sets, move on because you do not have enough calories. Um, you'll actually, you know, I want to fill them out. I don't want to flatten them out. Right. So. So, all right, guys, so what are you saying? So basically since Monday, I've been sending him check-ins in the morning and every night with my weight. And so last night we noticed my weight was a lot lower than it's been these last couple days by like two pounds. And so he decided to give me some almonds before I went to bed because we really didn't want my weight dropping that much. And I did have a new low this morning. Um, so last night I was 122.4 before I went to bed and I was averaging like 124. 125, to, yeah. 125. The, uh, the other night and so we knew it was going to be lower and so I did wake up this morning at 119.9 so definitely the lowest I've been by like a pound and a half so which is good because we still woke up leaner but we caught it and then we started water loading today and yep. we got some extra rice cakes around the workout but other than that we are smooth sailing until Thursday mm. we'll go lying leg curl the blue one Okay. I like that one. Yeah. But I like it when like you're there to help with those. Yeah. So you can keep reps. your butt down. Yeah. 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 This on because we're not doing we're not newbieing the hamstrings. Okay. Okay. I'm only gonna turn this on for working sets. Okay. So it's not gonna be on during your warm up sets. I don't want to deplete you. All right, Andy. So this is our third prep together. 
So it's not our first rodeo. No. Uh, this is our third prep, third year working together. So what's the biggest difference you think from the first prep to like this prep? The difference is we want to keep your, you know, after, you know, the, now this is the third prep. Um, now moving forward, just based on judges' feedback, based on, you know, us putting our minds together and just kind of talking about a game plan is just keeping you fuller into the show than, you know, than small. We don't want to deplete you too much like right. we did in the first show. Yeah. You know, because the feedback, you were lean, but we were undersized. <laughs> right. So now the goal is to keep you obviously lean, and this is the leanest you've been. For sure. But keeping you fuller and rounder, and right. especially during as these next couple days go on the fill out is going to be more aggressive with right. higher calories yeah okay so we're going to go for a fuller look a rounder look than what we have in the past yeah and i think one of the things that you said that was really important is us working together so with us this being our third prep like you know we kind of know each other we know how to communicate i know what he's looking for and just things from the past so it's like we're able to communicate better to be more of a team moving forward with the prep so if i'm seeing something I'm like hey andy you know i'm feeling flat or i'm just like super fatigued or you know whatever it is um we're able to talk about it together and he changes the plan based off of like how the information that he's getting data yeah, like, like we pulled cardio out on post leg days because yes. we noticed we noticed on uh, on on some checking pictures during prep. What is it like? Three weeks out, four weeks out. We we're like, okay, the glutes are. You know, you're like, hey, my glutes. Even though the glutes have grown based on the yeah. DEXA scan and measurements, just during this prep, we did notice that the glutes. You're like, hey, my glutes feel really small yeah. right now. And I'm looking at the pictures. I'm like, you're right. I'm like, you know what? Let's just pull for right now. Let's just pull the stairmaster out post workout on legs. And those days we'll just do uh, fasted cardio. Right. And then we're not going to do cardio on legs. Whereas before we were just drilling, drilling, drilling condition. So it was like, you know, cardio was just kind of like as is, right. you know what I mean? And then yeah. we pulled it during peak week. Now with the communication, we're like, okay, you're feeling small. Okay. We'll, we'll pull back. We'll pull back the cardio and we'll make some modifications or we'll like I said, like today, like we'll feed you a little more, even though we're going to be depleting, you know, Monday through Wednesday. Right. We're going to feed you a little more just for this workout, just to keep a little more fullness. So yeah. just small adjustments, nothing crazy, but right. small adjustments make a big difference when you're, you know, you know, when you're competing with the pros, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. This is a working set, big squeeze. Okay. I want to shoot for 15, 12 to 15 with the butt down. Okay. So thrust in the pad as you curl Two. Yep. Big squeeze. Three. Good. Even thrust when you're stretching. Four, good. Two, all the way, all the way. Just helping you close that gap. Big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. All the way, stretch. There we go. Now come up. Last one. Squeeze, squeeze, butt down. There we go. All the way, all the way. Now hold it. Slow release. Good, good, good. One more set. A little heavier, less reps. More. Ass down, all the way. Butt down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold it. Slow. Slow, good, <coughs> good. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Good stuff. But yeah, I like those DEXA scam results were like fucking crazy. Like we're not starting. We're not at the best start right now. But I go. We're gonna fuck. We're gonna pull this down. Yeah. And, we, and you pulled it down. Yeah. Pulled yeah. it down quick. It was good. Yeah. It was really good. As y'all saw in my Dexa scan video, I started a little bit higher body fat percentage than I normally do with my prep. So, and we started a little bit later. Basically, around I was fully locked in at 15 weeks out. So. 13 weeks. I with the fully locked, but my body really didn't start responding. No, no, no. Until... 13 weeks we're fully locked okay. in. Okay, I got the emails to okay. prove it. Okay. We had weddings, we had travel dates. There were a lot. I mean, no, and, I, and it's all fair. Like when I, like when I did a prep, I would like I, I don't care who, why. It was like 16 weeks. I'm not leaving my hometown. Like yeah. that's it. Like yeah. or just wherever I'm prepping. Yeah. Because it, it's just so hard to predict. Let me get you a couple pads. Okay. okay? <laughs> it was 15 weeks. But my body really didn't start like responding, responding to a lot of the changes to like 13, 14. So the seat a little bit, mm -hmm. grab those handles, shove your butt hard in the seat, chest up and just and toes pigeon toe, to, toes in. That way we're driving only the knees into the pad so we get right in the glute medius. Yep. Two, good, yep. Big hold at the top, like a second hold, three, good. Four. Five. But like I can always tell whenever we throw the newbie in the mix occasionally and like just like my activation just 
on my workouts by myself without it. Jumps up, yeah, yeah, that's great. One, pretend my fist is like an eggshell, you just tap it. You don't want to crack it, so it's just an eggshell. So just kiss it. Two, yep, slower. Just touch and go. Thir three. Four. A little slower. Just touch. Five, yep, that'll rip up the glutes right there. Six, good. Sl seven, good. Slow, slow, slow. Touch and go. Eight, good. Touch and go. Nine. We go three. Ten. Two. We got three. We got three. Let's take it to 15. Failure. Three. Slow, slow, slow. Don't crush it. Two. One more. Don't crush the eggshell. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh my goodness. One more set like that. We'll keep the weight the same. Okay. Okay. Not okay. trying to do any PRs. I mean, she's as much as is how strong she looks. I mean, she's probably the weakest. She's, you know, this is probably going to be, this should be your weakest stage. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the next like three, four days. I was able to keep most of my strength. I would yep. say it really starts to be a difference about, I would say three to four weeks ago is when I really start to see a bigger drop. Probably and not more being of the to. reps than the strength. Yeah. You probably are really strong in the four to six rep range. And when you start getting those higher repetitions due to the lack of glycogen in the muscle, you're yeah. probably gassing out. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Oh my goodness. Good. Ugh. Okay. Double Good. this. Yep. <laughs> like I said, the volume is lower. I mean, due to the due to how much she's been dieting for the last like you know 16 weeks or so. So we got to keep her in and out. But I mean, this is the stimulus. The yeah. stimulus is real on this. It's still yeah. there. It's funny because, you know, my weight dropped to 119 this morning. That's the exact weight that I started peak week with last year as yeah. well, but it's just like a totally different look. Totally different look. Yeah. Way leaner and way bigger. Yeah. It's good. I'm going to grab this bench. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel so, even though I feel small, I don't feel like last ones, you know, where I had like small person. <laughs> yeah, no. Because you're like, not. Like fragile and weak. <laughs> 12 reps, okay? Okay. Just warming up. One, yep, big lockout, okay? Big squeeze at the top. One second squeeze, two. Up hard, three. Two more. Two. One, good, wreck. Oh, those felt hard. Felt hard? All right. Okay, this one we're taking all the way. All right, I want to shoot for 15. Okay. But when I, when I want, like, you're going perfectly down, but I want you to get aggressive, aggressive. when you thrust up. Hold for a second, then Two, one, boom. Two, one, boom. So slow. Here we go. Big weight. Slow. Open up one. Big lockout. Two, good. Three, good. Four. Five, good. Drive with the heels too, outer heels. Six and open up, yep. Seven. 10, 11, we got more than 12. 12, three more, three more. 13, 14, 15, five mini thrusts. Up, higher, two, three, four, five. Good. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, I'm gonna add 10 pounds. Okay, okay. Good job. Yeah, I felt that. I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, I'll grab your water. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. Okay. You got it, Channing. Last set, best set. One. Slow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, <sighs> ten, five, four, three, <sighs> two, <sighs> one, five minis, five, higher, four, three, two, squeeze this last one, squeeze, good, rack.
Ooh. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's hard. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah. Glutes are on fire. Straight squats, right? Yeah, straight squats. Smith squats? Yeah. We well, can do that. But for glutes, squats. what have you been doing for glutes though? Squats. I forgot to look. Rogers. Rogers. But Rogers, but no, no box. Though. No box, okay. Yeah. So let's do this, no box, yeah. okay? Ten <laughs> reps. Now, I don't want you to go full range like ass to grass if you feel your quads kick in. Okay. Okay? So you find that groove where you feel the most glutes. glutes. Okay? So a lot of times if people go, if my, some people go all the way down and sit on their calves like a full range, they'll, the quads will take over. Right. Okay? Open, this, open the legs. There we go. One. Good. Two. Yep. Keep them open when you go down. Keep them open. And then abduct, three, good. Four, good, yep. We added, so like my normal pre-workout, but he was like, have Just added two 200, 200 calories <laughs> yeah. for the day, but. And I was like, okay. It's not much. No. Um, I bet the almonds did more than the rice cakes. Yeah, I actually woke up my mental, like I was, this morning was good. It's crazy, because you know, when you get this added down, like what your new normal is, and so when, oh, I was like, where'd you go? When you new, something new is added to the routine, like you instantly feel it because you're just so dialed in with your body. You're just kind of like, oh, okay. Well, you, <laughs> you notice an extra five, yeah. 10 grams of fat for sure. You do. Especially when the fat is low, you're like, oh wow, I have 100%. energy again. 100%. Let's go another 10, okay? Okay. No, let's go eight, let's go eight. Okay. Okay, because this is still light for you. I just want to make sure. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Rep. I just feel like with squats, just like with all the variations, like it's just very quad dominant for me. Just quad dominant yeah. for you. You want to do the body mass or leg press? I mean, this is fine. I think it'll be fine. We'll just keep it like focusing, like me shooting with the glutes, but mm -hmm. I think it's fine because I mean, with the leg press, I get quads too. I mean, you feel the glutes a little bit more. You're but always going to get some yeah. quads with all presses. But again, this is another thing why like, I don't want to go too heavy on this because yeah. the, then the quads will really take over. Yeah. You know. All right, this is going to be a working set. Okay. Got to get my mind right. Yeah. Here we go. One. Good. Shoot it back. Shoot it back. Two. Good. Yep, keep it in the glutes. Seven, open, open, open. Good. Eight. Nine. Oh my gosh. Ten. Ugh. Eleven. Ugh. Open, twelve. Ugh. Thirteen. Ugh. Ugh. Two. One more. Really abduct on this last one. Open, 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 open. Good. Right. Oh right. my God. I'm going to give you a reset after this session, too, okay? okay? This, this one's, one's dragging. This one's dragging. I'm not dragging, sure. dragging, dragging. <laughs> Whew. We're there. We're almost there, though. What is that? Like four exercises in? This is one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that means we got about one or two left. Mm. Things going good. We're being peak week. Remember what my first one? My first one when I came to Orlando, what I was lifting versus like what I'm lifting now. Yeah. I'll have to put some videos for you guys. I'll have to. I think you were wearing a purple or pink. It was or, pink. It was pink. Yeah, Look at yeah. you. Good I memory. I mean, we're doing the banded uh, hip thrust, the yes. body, uh, the free weight hip thrust. In the RDL. Yeah, but I remember. Yeah. I've come a long way. We sure have. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, Channing, I want another 10. Get serious. Shoulders back, everything tight. Even tight from the feet up. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Shoot it back, shoot it back, shoot it back. One, good. Two, good. Shoot it back, shoot it back, shoot it back. Three. Four. 
Five. <sighs> Six. <sighs> more than halfway. Four more. Seven. <sighs> Eight. <sighs> Nine. I can do 12. Let's do it. Take it all the way. Ten. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Up. Twelve. Let's give three. <laughs> thirteen. 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 <laughs> shoulders back. Shoulders back. Serious. Up. Good. <laughs> Hi. Good. All done? All done. Yeah. Good stuff. <sighs> Okay. How the glutes feel? Uh, Pumped? Pumped. Good. Pumped. <laughs> uh, all right. Strongest I felt. Yeah, it was this really close good. to a show. Very so. good, very good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us today for our glute workout with my coach, Andy. Um, it was definitely a good one. We are six days out from the FMG LA Pro-Am, so we are super excited. Third year in, it's, yeah, the best package to date. Um, Andy, any party words? <laughs> no, I'm really excited for this. I'm especially excited for this package. I mean, she's seven pounds up in muscle from uh, previous preps. Leanest she's ever been. You know, 11% body fat on a DEXA scan. We're thinking closer to 10 by Wednesday because she's steadily dropping each day, but we're monitoring it daily because we don't want to really lose this look. We're trying to really hold this look. This is kind of a flat-ish look, which should be flat coming into the show. <laughs> but come Friday, come uh, Thursday and Friday, she's going to fill back out. And uh, yeah, I th I'm really pumped about the, about the look to come Saturday. Yeah. All right, guys, well, we're going to end the video here. Thanks so much for joining. Please, if you like this content, like and subscribe, and we will catch you in the Peak Week video.